Why go for it? You aren't going to die from going after more success, happiness, and prosperity either. Ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? Then go for it. Besides, the worst thing that could happen rarely happens anyway. Dara Torres, the swimmer, won a silver medal during the 2008 Olympics at the age of 41. I watched her in an interview with Matt Lauer where the topic was her age in comparison to other Olympic contenders. She said the water doesn't know what age you are, so just jump in and go for it. The same applies to you as well. Life doesn't know or care how old you are or what other excuse you are clinging to, so just jump in and go for it. Don't worry that you don't know everything. Don't get caught up in what might happen or might not happen. Don't be paralyzed by fear. Don't concern yourself with what others think. In fact, don't overthink the decision at all. When an antelope hears a lion roar, he doesn't continue to graze and think about whether he should run or not. He just runs. No thought involved. He instinctually moves. Become like the antelope because the lion is roaring. Move. Make taking action instinctive. The legendary newspaper man Horace Greeley used to say, the way to do things is to begin. There's no better advice. When should I start, you ask? Let me tell you a story. A guy goes to his retirement party. His friends are talking to him about his plans for retirement. He says he wants to travel with his wife, to play golf, and to spend time with his grandchildren. They commend his plans. They all get together about a year later and are talking about how he's enjoying his retirement. He said that he and his wife have been traveling all over the country, plus they've been to Mexico, Canada, and even have a big trip planned to Europe. He also says that he's been playing lots of golf and has shaved five strokes off his golf game. He tells them that there's really only one thing that he set out to do as part of his retirement that he hasn't been able to do, and that's to play with his grandchildren. When his friends ask him why he hasn't been able to do that, he replies that he doesn't actually have any grandchildren. They ask him why not, and he says that he doesn't really know why he doesn't have any grandchildren, as he has three adult children who are happily married and are all perfectly healthy. He then comes up with a plan to get some grandchildren. He calls his kids and their spouses over to his house on Thanksgiving Day. He has them all standing around the table, and he says, Now before I say the blessing, I have one quick announcement. Yesterday, I opened up a $100,000 trust fund in the name of my very first grandchild. Now will you please bow your heads. He said the blessing when he looked up, it was just him and his wife standing there. The moral, if you are ever going to get started, you ought to get started right now. Section 2, The Idiot Fixes. Chapter 4, Actionless for Success. Action changes things. I've beaten that horse long enough, don't you think? Maybe not. Because no matter how much I say it, there are people who are still going to believe that they can talk their way to success or think their way to riches and happiness. Maybe it's time that I stop talking about the need for action and instead actually give you some actionable steps you can take. In this section, I'm going to tell you several areas of life where most people have problems. Then I'm going to give you a list with specific steps you can take in order to turn things around. Some of the steps are extremely simple. Some of them are more complex. Some will apply to you and your situation. Some won't. Take what you need and use it. Leave behind what you don't need until you do need it. But keep this in mind. Don't attempt too much. Perhaps the enormity of the situation you face may seem overwhelming to you. Don't allow yourself to be overwhelmed. Instead, just be whelmed. Pick a couple of areas to begin with and get started on those. How do you know where to start? It's easy. What is most important to you? Is it your finances? Is it your family? Is it your weight? Your health? Determine what is most important to you and go take action on the area where you need to start making changes today. But Larry, what if I do everything on the list and it doesn't work? I admit that this is not impossible, though I can't see how it would be very likely to happen. Each item on each list is a positive action step to take in your life. Do just one of the things on the list and life will be a little better for you. String them all together and you should see amazing results. Approach my list with skepticism if you must. That's not an unhealthy way to approach any area of self-improvement. 
But in your skepticism, I want you to be willing to give a few of the list a shot. At least give a few items on the list a shot. Will you fail? Possibly. But it's better to fail while trying to improve your life than to guarantee your failure by not trying at all. The first list that every other list begins with. Number one, decide to change. When I was in the eighth grade, after being humiliated for having only one pair of blue jeans, I decided to become rich. That decision shaped the rest of the decisions I would go on to make in my life. When I went bankrupt and lost my telecommunications company, I decided to become a professional speaker. That decision is the reason you are listening to this book today. When my wife and I had marital problems, we decided to stay together. It was tough and sometimes felt nearly impossible. But making that decision and not wavering from it made it end in a healthier marriage. When I decided to write my first book and sell it to a publisher, I also made the decision that I would do everything within my power to make it a bestseller. That book hit number one on the Wall Street Journal bestseller list. Every good thing that has ever happened in my life has been the result of my decision to make it happen. The same applies to you in your life. Your decisions will shape your future. As you go through the steps I outlined to do more, be more, and have more in your life, understand that the list alone won't change that. You must decide that you are willing to do whatever it takes in order to live the life you want and the life you deserve.